This is the suburbs chapter of The Last of Us Part 1. This is the collectible guide for this chapter. And this chapter has two sections called sewers and suburbs. So it's a little confusing. The chapter is called The Suburbs and it's got two sub chapters and one of them is called The Suburbs. So either way, this is the sewers part. And uh, we got three collectibles here on the boat and below deck. We got a comic, I bet like and an artifact behind us, and there is a firefly pendant under us. Altogether, the full chapter has ten artifacts, four firefly pendants, two comics, two training manuals. One workbench, one workbench tool, one safe, and four optional conversations. Half of the artifacts are in this first section. Most of the Firefly pendants, three of them, are in this section. We have a comic in this section. Uh, I think I think one training manual. Uh, the workbench is in the second section, but the workbench tool is in the first half. As the safe and all the optional conversations are in the second half, as well as Ellie's final joke in the main game. So we got the Firefly hey, pendant there, and we're gonna head I think we found something. into the sewers. Hey, flashlights out. Sam, stay, stay close. Here. Someone's finally learning. Once you enter, we're gonna take this little, uh, I want to call it a waterfall, but obviously it's not what that is. I wonder if it's cleaner or dirtier now that it's been 20 years of uh, post-civilization. There's a firefly pendant hanging right there. A couple parts in the water. They're going to go a little bit further to the left. Ellie's going to Climb around and help you get into this section. Got an artifact over here. Do you think they'll join us? Up all the way to Tommy's? Well, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how everything pans out. Then we're gonna get to the area that you have to work on moving a couple things around so everyone can ride a device over to the other side. First thing you do is dive under and get the firefly pendant which is attached to that car. There is a trophy in this section called waterlogged. Basically once you get everything ready to go, you need to make sure that you hop on that mechanical area behind where Joel is right now and ride it over there with everybody else in order to get the trophy. I'll be showing that in a different video, though. So you unstuck, you, uh, you take a pipe out of the, of the little gate there, swim across, come to this area, so you can get the skid. Uh, now there's two clickers in here, I've taken them out already. And inside here there's an artifact. So we've already ridden over to the other side and you carry on a little bit further and in here there is oh, oh yes the work the workbench tools right here okay number three of five. You're gonna come to an area with a sound trap. Oh, it's a sound trap. A what? It's a sort of alarm. I don't hear anything. And you're gonna so carry on further, and you're gonna get the uh, look like that's the, case the sawed-off shotgun, shorty, whatever they're calling it. Someone who thought they could keep a place like this safe. And 
and then just past that over on the shelf here there's a training manual follow that wall along okay. there to that area up to the left where Henry's standing and then oh. in the corner there Henry, did you see that? not in the corner nope I thought it was there, but it wasn't. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why I left that in there then. It was strange. Here's the rain catcher note. Okay, so... There's going to be a bit where uh, you have to fight a bunch of these guys. We already cleared this out. Yeah, before you can get the previous artifact and this one inside here. This is um, this is like halfway through the little ish and uh, I want to say Ken? Keith? Kyle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, that was a K name. Yeah, they do a pretty good job of uh, really giving you a, a well-told story here. So this is when we get separated, and it's uh, Joel and Sam separated from Henry and Ellie. And I have gone ahead and taken care of all of the stalkers, clickers. That's pretty much it. And uh, here is the last artifact in the sewer section. And then you got a nice, nice little fight on your way out. And hey, then come into the open air. Yep. What I tell and now you. we're in the suburbs. Just find a way around to it. Right here in this first. What about you? How you holding up? Business well, it's the second right? house. You can't get into the first house. No, Henry, but here on your right here. You'd be proud. We're going to head up and... We're going to get our first artifact, the looting note. So here is where uh, it's a little complicated because there's a couple things you need to do in order to get Ellie to tell her last jokes. So you need to be in this area, probably standing in this kitchen, in order to prompt Henry to start talking about Barbecues. Pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Once that's done, head over to this house here. For the next optional conversation so um i don't i don't think i clarified it so the thing that henry says you need to hear it but it's not an actual optional conversation it's not a collectible and it's not something that you um have to hit a button in order to initiate but this one is everyone barricaded themselves in their homes and supplies started running low that's when you saw what people are really capable of Then walk further down the street over to this ice cream truck for the next optional conversation. Oh, You're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are why Again, this this is the sequence you need to follow if you want to get Ellie's this? last joke. Oh. This is an ice cream start truck. talking about the ice, ice cream, cream truck. truck. Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. But I can't believe people used to no drive way. around Joel? with ice cream. That's crazy. That's true. This thing drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're totally fucking with me. Mm-mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. And lastly, even though Joel just said, don't go anywhere near those dogs, we're going to run right at those dogs. And around the bend here, there's a firefly 
graffiti, I guess you'd call it. There's also a collectible. There's a firefly pendant up in the tree up there, but we're not going to get it yet. We're going to come here. We're going to hear this conversation about the fireflies. We're going to invite Henry and Sam to come with us. We get there, we find him, we find the fireflies. What do you say, you in? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, man. Uh, at this point, if you've done all those things, basically you're gonna, just going to have to camp out and wait. And Ellie eventually is going to tell her others? jokes, and then mean? Sam's going to counter with his joke. There's a good chance someone else made it too, right? Yeah, yeah. Sam. There's a good chance. Ugh. Okay, you guys are killing me with your downer talk. It's joke book time. What is that? Just bear with me. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. If a dish towel could tell a joke, I think it would have a dry sense of humor. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I know, right? What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, I got a joke for you. Let's hear it. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? I don't know, why? Because then it will be a foot. <laughs> that is so dumb. I love it. And with that, you're done listening to Ellie read from her joke books during the main game. If you check your, uh, your trophy counter on the PS5, it should say two of three. The first one being all of Pittsburgh, the second one being this one that we just heard. And the third one is in the fun and games section of Left Behind with Riley when they're in the, uh, the carousel room. That was the Firefly Pendant right there. Head on up. We've got two or three houses. I think it's like three houses, actually. So we're going to the furthest house from where we just were, and then we'll work our way back. It's a workbench here, so I'm going to use work. that. Then we're going to head to the house in the middle of the three we need to go into. This one has a training manual in a crawl space above us here in the hallway. This one I kind of walked in and out of rooms a little bit, so hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. This is the furthest room once you head up the stairs to the right. I'm heading back up because I... Yeah, so the room in front of us right now is the room we were just in. Now we're going to try and get into the crawl space yeah. here and it collapses on us. Apart. Then there's a fairly long sequence. You have to wait for Ellie to come up to help you out crawl around the attic, and then eventually hand you Training Manual 7. Watch yourself. I'm sorry, the artifact before this was actually on the left when you get up the stairs. Yeah, I'm all turned around because I went, I went into every room. <laughs> And I kept looting and grabbing other things that don't need to be in the video. I even confused myself which way I went. So that previous artifact was behind us in the room. This training manual's up in the attic here. And that is, I believe, all we need in this house. So we're going to head over to this other house which is probably the same house that had the tree with the firefly pendant. Yes, it was. 
Okay, so the most important thing is there is an optional conversation that's going to happen in this room with that dartboard right there. But in order to make it activate, we need to head to the third floor up the steps and then come back down. So we're going to start heading up and we're going to go all the way up first and get an artifact which is also the combination to the safe that's in this house. And then we're gonna head all the way back down. There's gonna be a nice long sequence here. A little conversation between right. Ellie and Sam as they Sam? play darts. Be yeah. And then the optional okay. conversation that we're gonna have is actually Joel Throwing a dart at the dartboard and Henry responding. Yeah. Oh, damn it. All right, your turn. Okay. Just throw it. Yeah. Boosh. I am a natural. Luck. No, it wasn't. That was luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get out of here. You're getting cocky. Here we go. Fuck. Horrible. All right. It's a tie. Uh, no, no. You, you clearly got destroyed. How did I clearly get destroyed? That's practically a tie. Yeah, okay. <sighs> There'll come a day where kids can just be kids again. Let's go. There's still three more collectibles in this house on the second floor. So head on into this room. There is an artifact on the floor over here. I believe this one is the survivor's note. If not, I will mark it in the... Uh, description on the video and here's the safe 82136 which is not the combination I put in the first time if you notice the edit there so oh well we can't remember all the numbers all the time nice big amount of supplements and parts and looks like some shotgun ammo and in the other room here, we got nothing. <laughs> but in this room, we have a comic sitting on the desk. Ellie, I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. And that's all the collectibles in the suburbs. Hope that helped. Take care.